Hi guys, welcome to the episode. Today I'm going to show you the, uh, the filming modes on this Canon 250D. Okay, so um, I'm going to focus. There we go. So easy peasy. Go to your menu. So I'm going to go put in. I'm going to put it in manual mode for this one, and switch the camera on to filming mode, which is that little icon there. Okay, put it on your filming mode, and then once you're in. You can, uh, if I press the Q button, that records now, so it's no longer a button to just press to go to your menus, for example. And if you stop it, it will stop recording. Uh, if you want your settings, there are there, this one allows you to hold. This one allows you to hold and change the F stop. Okay, and if so, that button there, if you hold that down, and you can change the basically the aperture. And this one allows you to change the shutter speed. So obviously, if you're filming. At 24 frames, you probably want it double the, the speed. If you're filming at, I don't know, uh, 25 frames, you probably want it at 50 frames per second. So this button allows you to change the. If you hold that down, the sh uh, the aperture, and if you let go, you can change the um, shutter. So that's quite useful. If you click on info, if you click on sorry, it's set. This allows you to change um, the filming mode, so you can go down to like, for example. Uh, the size of your filming, so you can have it at 1080, for example, 50 frames per second. Uh, you can have it at 4K. This film, this actually films at 4K, which is amazing for a, a camera of this size. Um, and you can also change things like um, your image uh, to suit, for example. Um, so, like if you want it black and white, neutral, all those sort of uh, standard features. Again, if I click on the Q button, if you click on that icon, you can have your white balance. To change the temperature of that shot so for example I'm shooting in a quite a warm environment so I want to turn it a little bit more blue so you can see this is a little bit more blue and it will be better in post when you're editing as well I would have thought so um, so those are some features that you can um, set in your filming mode and you can click back and go back out again go back in there you got uh, digital uh, digital image stabilization so you probably want that on I would think so I would have definitely that on on a high level if I'm shooting on a on a I don't know on a tractor or I'm on a plane and there's a lot of you know movement without my me moving the camera so you definitely want that on so again menu click on that one there for it movie digital image stabilization so that is a very useful thing to you truth um, again go back um, we go back to info gives you all the information and if you click on info you can click on your icons and do it this way as well okay so and again click on info again um, and click on your shutter speed you can change it like that as well and you can just touch screen as well so that's useful so the info button works this button works here that button there the AV button and your scroll that allows you to change the aperture and shutter and your main menu obviously is your main menu settings that you can crop resize change the file size um, etc as well um, I don't necessarily want to do that I just want to if I go to uh, menu for example go to uh, go to this one and you know film modes enable server AI enable eye detection so if you don't want eye detection on you can have those sort of things on uh, my real focus was to just show you this button here this eight so the set button for all these various features the AV button to click and hold and change your shut your shut and your aperture, um, and also the info button to do it via your touch screen, so you can literally click and change it with with your hand like this. Okay, so you can clearly see that this is getting a bit lighter, darker. Most new users, most new DSLR users, prefer the touch screen. So if you're filming, I would just put it in manual mode. Okay. Put it in manual mode and then click on info and then you can click and touch these buttons here to change the settings that you want. I think most younger people that are watching this video right now would prefer that because they're obviously smartphone. Well, the whole world smartphone users aren't they nowadays? They use a touch screen, but like I think younger users will feel more comfortable with that particular feature. So just to recap, switch your camera on, filming, manual, click on your info button and then you can touch screen to change your aperture, your shutter, your ISO. Q button allows you to go back to your main menu to change image stabilization. And if you don't want to do that, just press on the Q button over here and it'll allow you to change those settings there as well. Okay, 
Thanks for watching. Any questions, please do post. And if I go too too quick or too slow, let me know. I will go slower. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Any questions, please do post, and I'm happy to respond. Thanks a lot, guys.